of the biggest recent world stories of the last few weeks was none other than this, of course. The story about the photoshopping and, of course, the Princess of Wales, Catherine. And as I said to you before, for me, even though I appeared on many different shows around the world, I thought it was a non-story. I couldn't understand the issue with it, you know. Now, apparently, this all went down to trust. Now, I don't know about you, but a bit of photoshopping, how does that mean it's not trustworthy? And as we told you before, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, is a very keen photographer. And I've said this on record before, I think she's a brilliant photographer. She captures the moment, you know, brilliantly. I mean, there's no other way of describing it. I love the pictures that she's done with Prince Louis growing up. You know, she's really got into what it's like to be a child full of innocence and stuff like that. She studied photography, it's a hobby, and some would say she's a as good as any professional photographer that's out there. In the past, you see, uh, royal pictures were always taken by picture agencies. And, you know, they were sort of given approval, uh, finally, you know, by, say, Her Majesty the Queen, or, of course, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, something like that. But basically, all pictures throughout royal time have been, you know, shall we say, photoshopped in their moment. I don't know if you know this, but Edward VII insisted on his waist being trimmed down in the very early versions of what we we call Photoshop today. Oh yes, you know, nothing new there. I mean, you know, he was quite a plump guy, but if you look at certain pictures, the way they angle them, the way they move the waistcoat down, it is all to make him look extra slim. Even, of course, the late Queen Mary insisted on having a waist in there, and that was done also with a light touch of Photoshop. Every single picture in the public domain, not just from the British monarchy, but from the golden age of Hollywood, had cigarettes wiped, hair removed, whatever. You know, I didn't honestly see a problem. But where are we now today? Well, as you know, big companies like CNN and, of course, the a picture agency with that particular gentleman that really started it all off by suggesting they kill that uh, particular Mother's Day picture. Well, they're sticking to it. They're saying that they're going to be looking and reviewing every single image now that comes out of any British royal palace like Kensington, Windsor Castle and, of course, Buckingham Palace. Now, I'm not suggesting just because of the light of the stories of recent regarding the Princess of Wales that that should be relenting but one would suggest also there are bigger things bigger issues aren't they on mind as it were to think about than one person who's basically thinking we'll just do a little quick bit of photoshop and it goes back to what I was saying before. It's really all about looking at how you see the world and all that sort of stuff. Now, what I've said to you before is this. I don't understand why the monarchy bother going through an agency. They are so powerful. They could just release it uh, via you know, social media, uh, via any other you know, option on their website. And people will simply pick it up. Every single newspaper will pick it up. And if she continues to Photoshop, or any senior royal does, does it matter? Because basically what we've learned about this whole debacle is simply this. Nobody cares about it. Only the agencies, the people, as I told you before, that could make money of it. You know, they wanted to make sure they owned the copyright and that was syndicated via their agency. So they got a cut of it. I think the Princess of Wales, Catherine, played a blinder, really, by removing it and taking it in-house. And I would not be bullied into changing exactly a winning formula. And as it stands, I still like that Mother's Day picture. I think it's brilliant. What do you think? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.